Hello class, welcome again. Today we shall directly go through the speech of Graciano. Let me tell you that this speech of Graciano that begins with let me play the fool is one of the most important speeches from this scene. Scene 1. Let me play the fool. With mirth and laughter let old wrinkles come and let my liver rather heat with wine than my heart cool with mortifying groans. In the first four lines of his speech, Graciano responds to his friend Antonio when Antonio says that my role, I am playing the role of a sad person. Graciano says that if you are playing the role of a sad person, then allow me to play the role of a fool. And we all know the role of a fool is to make the audience laugh. He further says that even if cheering, shouting, enjoying, celebrating, it puts my life at risk and remaining silent, remaining speechless, remaining quiet adds a couple of years to my life. Even then, I shall always choose the first one. That means I would always prefer to enjoy, to laugh, to make the audience, to make the people laugh and not to remain quiet. What he means to say, he simply exhausts that how important it is for him to live a lively life. And after that what happens that Graciano, kindly go through your text. After that Graciano says that Antonio, why should a man who has warm blood in his body, what he means to say that why should a man who is enjoying the very prime of his youth, he is referring Antonio, should behave like his grandfather. He tries to scold Antonio by saying that Antonio, you are at the peak of your youth. You are at the very prime of your youth, but unfortunately you are behaving like your grandfather who is already dead and buried and his tomb has been constructed with white marble, alabaster. So here he tries to explain Antonio that he is a young man and a young man like Antonio is supposed to celebrate his life, to cheer his life, to live a lively life. Not to be sad, not to be melancholic. Yes, sleep when he wakes and creep into the jaundice by being peevish. I tell thee Antonio, I love thee and it is my love that speaks. There are a sort of men whose visages do cream and mantle like a standing pond and do a willful stillness entertain with a person to be dressed in an opinion of wisdom, gravity, profound conceit. He refers one of the beliefs. We still believe that ill temperament attracts many diseases. Some of the psychological diseases being the, uh, being the top at the order like depression, anxiety and other things. So in Elizabethan era, what it was believed it was believed that if you have an ill temperament, if you are ill tempered, then very soon you will get infected with jaundice. So here we need to understand the idea that those people who have ill temperament, they attract a kind of certain diseases. So here Graciano, he suggests his friend that Antonio, you need to cheer for your life. You need to enjoy your life. Otherwise, you will become sad. You will become dull. You will go into depression. And then he further says that why I am telling these things to you? Because you are my friend. I love you. I care for you. And I personally know many people. I personally know most of the people who try to appear to be still, who try to be appear to be as motionless as we have a layer of cream over milk or a layer of slime over a standing pond. With these two metaphoric expressions, slime and a layer of cream, 
he tries to emphasize that how motionless, how calm, how still their faces are. Whose faces? The faces of those people who pretend to be sad, who pretend to be silent. But Graciano says that they are not silent. They have a purpose behind it. And the purpose behind it is that they want to be considered by other people as the repository of world's knowledge. They want to be considered by others as if they have profound conceit, they have intelligence, they have wisdom and they are the only people with high profile intelligence. But does it work? Let's see. As who should say, I am Sir Oracle, and when I ope my lips, let no dog bark. O my Antonio, I do know of these, that therefore only are reputed wise, for saying nothing. When I am very sure, if they should speak, would almost damn those ears, which hearing them would call their brothers fools. I'll tell thee, I'll tell thee more of this another time. But fish not with this melancholy bait for this full gudgeon. Now, Graciano refers one of the uh, biblical references and he talks about Sir Oracle. Sir Oracle is believed to be the uh, to, to be one of the earlier messengers of Almighty. And it is said that whenever he used to preach or address a gathering, nobody should dare to raise a question or any objection. Means that was the kind of faith that he enjoyed among the masses. So here Graciano says that these people, which people? Those who pretend to be sad, but they are not sad. These people try to get the same treatment which was given to Sir Oracle and they want that whenever they speak, they open their mouth. Not even a single person should interrupt. But does it happen? No. Because Graciano believes that whenever these people will open their mouth to say something, they will damn the ears of the listeners. That means they will speak only nonsense because they are not the repository of knowledge. They pretend to be intelligent people, but they are actually not. So they will damn the listeners and their listeners will regret after listening to them. And that is why Graciano, he again advises his friend Antonio that this tactic will not work. You cannot have a lasting fame by pretending to be sad and you will end up like those people who ended up after being criticized, being abused by their listeners. He compares this tactic with a common fish in England named Gudgeon. Why it's, a, why it's a worthless fish? Because nobody consumes it. Nobody likes to have it as a pet. So Graciano believes that Antonio should discard this habit of remaining sad and he should enjoy his life. He should cheer for his life. And after that, he says that I will, I will end my discussion after dinner. But what happens? Antonio, he says that, sir, I will try my level best to follow your advice. On the other hand, Lorenzo breaks his silence and he says, I also consider myself one of those people, one of those sad people because Graciano hardly lets me speak. He tries to make the audience laugh. And then Graciano says that Lorenzo, be with me just for two more years. And I assure you, I will make you forget the sound of your own voice. That means I will never let you speak. And then you will forget that how you used to speak. And on this funny note, what happens that Lorenzo and Graciano the exit, they leave the stage. Right now we have only two characters on the stage. The most important characters, Antonio, the protagonist of the play, his best friend and hero of the play, Bassanio. 
so in the next video we shall talk about what kind of conversation takes place between both the friends thank you very much